Welcome back to the Gretel instructional video series. In this video, we will be learning how to use Gretel to perform basic statistics. The only file that you will need to follow along with this video is the Gretel file real estate. The four items that we will learn to do in this video are calculate summary statistics, create a correlation matrix, create an XY scatter, and utilize the built-in tool for statistical tables that calculates the critical values and p-values. Now let's open Gretel and get started by opening the file Real Estate. The file Real Estate is already formatted as a Gretel file, so we will not have to import the data. To open the file, click on File, Open Data, followed by User File. Now, locate the directory in which you have saved the file. Once you have located the file, double click to open. Now you will notice that there are six variables in Gretel. Each of these variables contain cross-sectional information on a house sold in market X. The first variable, price, is the price at which a house sold. The second variable, square feet, is the square footage of the house. The third variable, age, is the age of a house in years. The three remaining variables are binary dummy variables. This means that they are equal to either 0 or 1. The variable uTown is equal to 1 if a house is located close to a university. The variable pool is equal to 1 if a house has at least one pool. And the variable fireplace is equal to 1 if the variable has at least one fireplace. The first thing that we want to do with this data is calculate the summary statistics for each variable. The summary statistics calculated by Gretel include the mean, the median, the minimum, the maximum, the standard deviation, the coefficient of variation, the skewness, and the xx kurtosis. Now let's move back to Gretel to calculate the summary statistics for each variable. The quickest way to calculate the summary statistics is to click on the first variable price and drag the pointer down to fireplace. Now release the left click and right click in the blue area to select Descriptive Statistics. A new window pops up with the summary statistics. The summary statistics are displayed for all six variables. The interpretation of this output is straightforward for all of the summary statistics except for the very last one, excess kurtosis. Excess kurtosis subtracts 3 from the standard kurtosis calculation of the mean divided by the standard deviation to the power of 4. By subtracting 3, the excess kurtosis of a normal distribution is equal to 0. Now let's move on to the next step, learning how to create a correlation matrix. In this case, we want to create a correlation matrix that contains the pairwise correlation coefficients between price, square footage, and age, where the correlation coefficient is a measure of the linear association between two variables. To create the correlation matrix, go back to the main Gretel screen. The quickest way to create the correlation matrix between price, square footage, and age is to click on the variable price and drag the pointer down to age. Now release the left click and right click on the blue area and select correlation matrix. A window pops up with the available variables to include in the matrix. Since we have already selected the three variables that we are interested in, click OK. A new window opens with the correlation matrix. The correlation matrix indicates that the correlation coefficient between square footage and price is 0 0.5947. The correlation coefficient between age and price is negative 0 0.0799 and the correlation coefficient between age and square footage is negative 0.272. When interpreting the correlation coefficients, be sure to remember that correlation does not imply causation. Now, let's learn how to create graphs in Gretel. We will create an XY scatter graph of square footage against price. Square footage will be the X variable and price will be the Y variable. This graph is useful for visualizing patterns. To create the graph, click on View, followed by Graph Specific Variables, and then XY Scatter. A pop-up window opens asking which variable is the x-axis variable and which is the y-axis variable. Select square footage as the x-axis variable and price as the y-axis variable. Now click OK 
and a graph will appear in a new window. The XY scatter graph contains the price and square footage relationship for each of the 1,000 observations. You can see an upward trend in the data indicating that as square footage increases, so does price. It is interesting to note that the dispersion does not change as square footage increases. Now let's learn how to personalize this graph. To do this, right click on the graph and select Edit. Under the main tab, you can change the title of the plot, you can change the location of the legend or key, you can change or remove the fitted line, as well as select the font. In the tabs x-axis and y-axis, you can change the title of the axis and change the range. The graph colors can be changed using the tab palette. This covers the basics on how to personalize an XY scatter graph or any other kind of graph performed in Gretel. Now let's move on to the last item covered in this video. The last item covered in this video is the built-in statistical table and p-value finder. If you have ever used tables to find the critical value or a p-value in the past, you will realize how useful this tool really is. Even when I'm not using Gretel to perform the statistical analysis, I sometimes use this tool within Gretel. Now let's open Gretel to familiarize ourselves with the tool by using it to calculate the critical t-value for a two-tailed test with a right tail probability of 0 0.025 and 157 degrees of freedom. To calculate the critical t-statistic, select Tools from the main menu followed by Statistical Tables. A pop-up window will open. Along the top are several tabs listing various distributions. In this case, we are looking for a critical T value, so select the tab T. Now, input 157 into the degrees of freedom line and 0.025 into the right tail probability line. The new window reports the calculated critical value is 1.97519. Now, let's use this information to calculate the P value associated with the T statistic of 1.97519. To do this, go back to the main menu on the Gretel screen and select Tools, followed by P-Value Finder. In the pop-up window, input 157 into the Degrees of Freedom line and the value 1.97519 as the value. Once you click OK, the new window reports the calculated area to the right is 0.025. This means the P-value is 0 0.025. This makes sense because we calculated the t-statistic 1.97519 by inputting 0 0.025 as the right tail probability. We have now finished learning how to perform basic statistics in Gretel. Before wrapping up the video, let me summarize the three key points to remember. Number one, right-clicking on one or more variables opens a useful shortcut menu. Number two, Graphs can be customized by right-clicking on the graph and selecting Edit. And number three, the statistical tables and p-value finder are useful tools. This concludes the second video in the Gretel instructional video series. Be sure to save the file Real Estate in a location that you will remember because we will be using it again in videos three and four.